Assalamualaikum. Today we are just uh, talking about the climate situation in Hyderabad and lower part of Sindh because there is a strong prediction from the meteorological department as well as from the concerned quarters. Uh, even the media is reporting that from 25th to means tomorrow till 30th August. For four days, a low pressure is existing, and when we say low pressure, means the hot air is in that area, and the clouds and the cold systems are the heavy air with uh, water vapors and clouds will reach to the hot air, which is called low pressure, and where it is cold and clouds we call it high pressure so i think you have understood what is low pressure and high pressure normally uh, in the seaside there is uh, high pressure or cold or the temperature is little bit uh, lower than the desert areas or land areas uh, just like Thar Parker. So this system is coming from the Bay of Bengal from Mahendri Giri to reaching to Kutch, Bhuj and then coming to the third desert of the Indian part and then the third desert of the Pakistan part. The Indian part is called Rajasthan also. So you can see the clouds are still looking uh, very thick and uh, the rain drops are changing the color of the clouds so you can see that from hyderabad there is a complete uh, cover of the clouds from north till the angle of the south and the east where the third desert run of kutch is there and uh, then we have the Arabian Sea also in the south. So there is a uh, forecast that the part of the lower Sindh will receive from 120 to 180 millimeter of what rainwater. So that is a very serious condition. So what are the few problems which you have to take care first of all? repair your broken walls particularly the roofs and uh, uh, make your houses as strong as possible or as resilient as possible then the roads hospitals and the drainage system should be functional and uh, particularly if there is heavy rain then you should not travel for, for a long time but you can have and then the supplies just like for necessary food item dry items should be kept and uh, the milk and other items should also be stored in the houses second is the emergency health care or the first aid should be available particularly from the insect bites and from the other snake bites or other things then the stomach diseases are more diarrhea is there so keep ors and one sachet should be in four glass of water or one liter of water and should be consumed accordingly and after 24 hours if leftover ors that should not be used uh, apart from this the lightning and the uh, cloud brust is there so please take care don't uh, stay near the towers and the electric poles or even the solar system is now in a greater use so take care of these uh, metals because they are conductors and uh, even the big trees you don't uh, stay under big trees and stay at your home and try to uh, not touch any metallic thing in the house also and the cooking uh, pattern should also be changed in the early morning if it is rainy season whole the day and in the evening also there is the rainy season so please 
keep the your uh, fuel as well as if you are using the uh, woods they should not be uh, soaked in the rain water and they should be stored properly and used properly so that you can have four or five days fuel and even alternative arrangements gas and kerosene oil should also be there and then the medicinal supplies as well as if you are uh, looking after the children then all the proper vaccinations and uh, the medicines which are emergency medicine are prescribed and keep the number of the doctors on your telephone and contact the nearby health system and if there is uh, even more emergency then even locate where is the safe and raised place so that you can shift particularly we are using schools and colleges for such emergencies so please get information about the availability of the transport and distance your crops are important so the water should be drained properly not uh, in a way that it should damage the settlements or the residential area and there should be a cooperation between upper and lower uh, growers thank you very much